Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here on the Cat Scrappiness channel to share with you a cute, quick and easy card using some goodies from the store, including the brand new paper pad, Spring Fling. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here again. I'm super excited to show you today's card. Not only am I going to play with the new Spring Fling paper pad, but I also just received in the mail the uppercase condensed alphabet dies. Now you know that I love their lowercase, so I can't wait to try these out. Now, as I create the card, I will let you know about any other products or tools I bring in. But for now, let me tell you the main supplies we'll be using today. Over on the left, I chose this polka dot paper from the paper pad, and I will actually be using the front and the back of this. For my sentiment, I'm using the Friendship Greeting stamp set. I plan on using My Dear Friend, and I'm going to combine it with those uppercase condensed dies that I just talked about. I got out the H, E, L, and O, and I'll let you guess what I'm going to spell. Over here on the right, I did get out some enamel dots, and I will be sure to link this color as well as the other products in the description box below if you want to check them out when you're done with the video. If I do leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started on the card, I'm going to take this one piece of pattern paper and cut it into two to be used. I want one piece that is four and a quarter by five and a half to completely fill the card front. So that is the first piece I cut. And then with the piece that's left over, I measured the height, which was just slightly over three and three quarters. So what I did is I trimmed it down to three and three quarters, rotated it and cut it to five inches wide. This way I would have a nice quarter inch uniform border all the way around the outside. Now there were a couple small pieces left over and you'll see later how I use those so there's barely any scraps left over from this card. Next, I got out my alphabet dies and I want to spell hello, which of course I'll need two L's for. So to have a placeholder so I can lay out my dies evenly spaced, I brought in the F and I did this because it's the same width as the L. Also to help with the evenly spaced, I brought in a piece of grid paper I have. If you don't have grid paper, you can use graph paper or if your craft mat has a grid, that will work as well. I lined up each of my alphabet dies so the bottom of the die was sitting on one of the lines and then I used the vertical lines to make sure they were straight up and down. To hold these in place, I got out a long piece of scotch blue removable tape and quickly and carefully laid it over all of the dies. This way I can pick them all up at once for die cutting. Now you will notice that I took out the placeholder F before I taped it onto my piece to be cut. Please remember to do that or you're going to have to recut some pieces. I took this off screen, cut out four of the five letters, and then I put the O back in place so I would know where the bottom of the L die should go. Once I had that figured out, I got a smaller piece of the Scotch Blue removable tape to hold that in place while I die cut the last letter. You will want to make sure if any of your letters have an inside that you keep that. And while I was playing around with this, I realized that it's kind of hard now to see the word hello 
because of the polka dots behind it. But I definitely still wanted to see those polka dots, so I brought in a piece of vellum that was cut just a little larger than the word hello. Then I added some liquid glue to the back of my die cut piece, making sure to get in all of the openings before laying my vellum over that and pressing it down nice and firmly. Before I can set this aside to dry, I did need to put in the middle of my O, which I temporarily tacked that O in place with that piece of scotch blue removable tape before adhering the center with that same liquid glue. When all those pieces were in place, I set it to the side for about five minutes to dry. Once that had time to dry, I added some foam tape to the back off screen, and then it was time to start assembling the card. The first thing I did was add my piece of polka dot pattern paper to the card base, and you'll notice here it does fill the front. And then I removed the release paper from the back of the foam tape and got this centered on the card front. You'll see that I kind of carefully lay it down to make sure I have even borders, and once I do, I go ahead and press that in place. The sentiment on the front wasn't quite complete. I do want it to say, hello, my dear friend. So using a red that matched kind of one of the polka dots on the pattern paper, I stamped my dear friend onto a scrap of white cardstock. Now, because I wasn't exactly sure how it would be cut out later, I did kind of stamp it in the center. I eventually decided that I wanted my sentiment to be to the left side, and I used one of the box sentiment strips dies to cut this out. I centered it on the left there and then used that same piece of removable tape to hold it in place while I die cut it. I decided where on my card front I wanted the rest of my sentiment to go, and when I had it in place, I just gently marked where I wanted to cut it with my fingernail, and using my little photo trimmer, I snipped some off the right end. This got just some tape runner added to the back and placed flat down onto the die cut piece. Now you know that my cards need a little bling, so I brought in those enamel dots. I am going to be using the yellow and white to kind of match the color of the paper in the background. And I just love how these are kind of different. It's not like a solid or matte enamel dot. It's almost like it's a clear enamel dot with color in the background. So fun. I ended up adding five of these to my card front. And off screen, I took those scraps that I mentioned earlier and I decorated the inside of the card. Here are a few close-up looks. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.